What is up, Taurus? Welcome to your general timeless reading. These are timeless, so whenever you see this is when it's most meant for you. It could be something that you've already gone through, something you're currently going through, or something you are about to go through. Uh, they are also general readings, so these are meant for the collective. So if they don't resonate, that's perfectly fine. Please only take the pieces that resonate and leave the rest. The energies can also be reversed. And also, if you're new to tarot, not new to tarot, I highly recommend checking out the video, How to Interpret Tarot as a Viewer, so you better understand how to watch these kinds of readings on YouTube. And I'm going to be making an updated one soon to add a few things to it, so be on the lookout for that. Um, also, if you want a personal reading or a Reiki session, go ahead, book it down below through the description box through my website in the description box. And if you wanna join our Patreon family, I am running a promo for tier two and three patrons that sign up between now and January 15th, 2021. You do get a free 15 minute recorded reading with me. Okay, so go ahead, check that out. And let's get into it, Taurus. Let's see what goodies we've got going on for you. Let's use my new deck because why not? Who doesn't wanna use a new tarot deck? I haven't linked it down below yet, but I'm sure you're probably familiar with it if you're a tarot fanatic like myself. Santa Muerte Tarot, right? Isn't it just like such a sexy thing to say? <laughs> Santa Muerte. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> but um, let's get into it. Let's see what's going on, Taurus. <sighs> Already getting itchy. So we know the channel's opening when my face starts to get itchy. They're, they're brand spanking new. I just got them yesterday, so bear with me. Here we go. See for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. For Taurus, please. Show me what I must need to see for Taurus. Taurus, you're very focused on like stability, home life. Like I feel a lot of like home life, like a lot of like finances, like very focused on work. The hangman in reverse. I feel like that's just like having a new focus, a new. The hangman is about a new. Wow, oh, look at all these majors. The hangman and justice. Yeah, you're very focused on finding your balance, finding your stability. And then we have the nine of cups. Yeah, the nine of cups is comfort. It's it's having your hope and wish fulfillment. That, that sense of contentment, right? I really like that. I really like that. The hangman in reverse, understanding how to achieve this balance, this contentment. I feel like this is coming into your clarity now, like coming into your uh, point of view. I don't want to keep saying perspective. I think that's like a overkill with the hangman. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. I've done so many readings today. The Hangman, uh, Pisces, Neptune energy, Justice, Libra energy, and the Nine of Cups, Pisces energy. What other messages do we have for Taurus? This feels like very, um, I think Mars and Taurus right now, because I actually went into Taurus today on the 6th, the day I'm recording this, the 6th of January. That energy is really going to help you in regards to going towards things, you goals, right? Endeavors. And that's kind of what this feels like. Seven of Wands, the bravery. Bottom of the deck is the Chariot in Reverse. Ooh, what's this over here? These three cards are very separate. As you can see, they're like shifted over this way, so I'm gonna pull them down. So Seven of Wands came out after the Nine of Cups, the bravery to go after whatever this is, this new perspective. I feel like this is what you're leaving behind. Yeah, Eight of Wands, this is what you're moving away from. Eight of Cups feels more so like disappointment. This is what, yeah, disappointment in Seven of Swords is a very deceptive energy. You might have been chasing something for a very long time that you realized was not actually emotionally fulfilling. And then you have this very sudden shift in perspective, hangman, right? That what's actually going to bring me balance, what's actually going to bring me stability is this over here, whatever this Nine of Cups is. Because you might have been chasing the Eight of Cups thinking that it was actually your Nine, when in all reality, your Nine of Cups lied elsewhere. 
and this is what you're going to go after. This is what you're switching your direction to. Because whatever it was that you were pursuing previously, Eight of Wands with the Eight of Cups, what you were pursuing is the Seven of Swords. It was very deceptive. It wasn't, in all reality, your hope and wish fulfillment. But for some reason, you were pursuing it. Because overall energy, what is the Chariot followed by the Tower? I really like that. It's a change in direction. And it is, it is kind of like a free will choice in a sense. Like you're creating the shift. You're creating this tower moment. The chariot, cancer energy, the tower, Aries, Mars, Scorpio energy. Seven of swords, Aquarius, eight of wands, Sag, eight of cups, Pisces, seven of wands, Leo. I already said the other sign, so. <clears throat> Don't judge. Big old Bertha over here. Got a little thirsty. Yep, I did that. Okay, um, I want to clarify with. Ooh, okay. I didn't even see that deck. That's a good one, though. I didn't even think about that. We can use Light Sears. Um, let's do Light Sears tarot. I was asking them, I was like, what tarot deck should I use? And I couldn't even see this one. It was like in the very back of my boxes over here. My tiny little hands. <laughs> um, but I really like that. That's actually a really good deck to use with this one. I never thought about that. I do move it back to the front. Let's let's check this out. Why is the chariot in reverse? That's gonna bother me. Why is the chariot in reverse for Taurus and the overall energy? Why is the chariot in reverse for the overall energy? The moon and the four of pentacles. You're understanding what's important to you. That's really what this feels like. Understanding what's important to you. Understanding what's actually a priority here. Whatever you were pursuing with this Eight of Cups, you might have been pursuing this Eight of Cups, Eight of Wands energy over here for the wrong reasons. It could have been for, for money because Eight is an energy of like prosperity and you have two Eights over there. But it was for the wrong reasons, especially with that Seven of Swords attached to it, right? But with the Moon and the Four of Pentacles, you're understanding now that this shift in direction isn't necessary, right? It's for your highest good. Sorry, here's really bothering me right now. Okay, let's look at the hangman. Let's see what your shift in perspective is all about. Four of wands, six of swords, both in reverse, and then the page of wands. Sorry, my hair's all up in my glasses right now. I feel like this is you planning with the Six of Swords in reverse and the Four of Wands in reverse. As a Page of Wands, this is you trying to plan the new foundation, the new direction. You're, you're very aware that there's a need to move in a new direction. It's just, okay, well, how do I get the stability? How do I get that solid foundation beneath my feet so I can actually make this shift, so I can actually move in that direction that I want to go in? Because with the Six of Swords and the Four of Wands still in reverse, you haven't actually made the move yet. But that's the direction you want to head in. Some of you probably already have, because remember, time is fluid, but this page has not for this read. But remember, time is fluid, so for some of you, you might have already. Two of Swords. Yeah, there's just indecision around it. There's indecision. So at this state, at this point in the reading, this page is indecisive about how to move forward. Okay. Two of Swords, Libra, Page, Fire, Six of Swords, Aquarius, Four of Wands, Aries. So let's look at justice. This is Libra energy. This is that balance that the universe is very supportive energy with this. I like that. Star, holy crap. Justice in the star, talk about alignment. 
This is a lot of universal energy being very supportive of this decision, of this shift. This is bringing you in alignment with your path with something that is literally destined for you. Something not only that you've hoped and wished for, but something that is going to bring in prosperity, balance, abundance. Oh, I really, really like this. And then you have the three of wands. It's just a matter of time though. There's a lot of divine timing going on here. There's a test of patience. There's definitely a test of patience going on. I feel like a very big like lesson of control. A very big, but the collective is going to feel this lesson of control because we're in like a, a ton of Aquarius energy in 2021. It's all, it's the age, not the age of Aquarius, but like, well, we're not going to get into all that. <laughs> but um, it's this energy of, we have a lot of Aquarian and Uranus energy, which is, a lot of innovative surrender free walking to the beat of your own drum kind of energy and when the universe is playing such a large role in your reading like this there's a need to release that control and kind of be a bystander in your own life kind of watch it unfold and unravel before you and be very accepting of the opportunities coming your way and not really have many expectations attached to it so let's look at the nine of cups Ooh, yeah, Emperor in reverse. This is that control energy, that masculine energy. There's a lot of, the masculine energy in the collective is going to be not reworked, but there's going to be a lot of healing around like father energy. And that's what the Emperor is. Yep, there's the new beginning. Ooh, yep. Oh, da, 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 da. <laughs> wanting to have control expectations around the new beginning Uranus Aquarius energy with the fool and then Aries energy with the Emperor also Taurus for me as a reader Mars energy where did Mars go today Taurus yeah there that is wanting to have control over your hope and wish fulfillment you're not gonna have control you're just not gonna have control there's a need to have this very student-like observing energy to yourself like it's it's time to really watch and wait for those opportunities to present themselves to you it's time to be the student to allow yourself to have a very clean slate in the sense of what you're seeing in the world what you're seeing in your reality what you're seeing in people and circumstances and situations and accept them as they are like i know it's, it's much easier said than done to wipe the slate clean of all your trauma, all, all the wounds that people have caused you, but that's kind of what the universe is pushing you to do right now so you can accept these opportunities. Because by wiping your entire slate clean and almost being like reborn into the world again, it's going to allow you to step into new earth, a much more open book and to much more opportunity because you're not gonna have that expectation attached to it, right? So let's look at this seven of wands, this very, Guarded energy. I feel like this is the expectation that's preventing opportunity from coming in. Now that we're getting deeper into the reading, to be honest with you. Knight of Cups. Hermit. Three of Cups. Tower in reverse. High Priestess and the Five of Pentacles. Five of Cups in the bottom of the deck. So we have the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Cups out here. So we got abandonment and rejection on the board. And we have a guarded energy around an emotional approach, right? And then we have this very secluded energy with the Hermit. And then we have this illusion with the High Priestess. And resistance to the change with the Tower in Reverse. There's a lot going on in this one little card. So we're very defensive defensive of really good things because we're anticipating old wounds. We're defensive of genuine, loving, supportive connections and rather sit by ourselves, defend ourselves, protect ourselves, have control of situations and our new cycles because we feel safe there. Because if we control the situation, we can expect how it's going to unfold, right? The universe is testing you to release that control, to let down your walls, let down your barriers, and allow these new connections, these new people to come in. Don't isolate yourself, right? Don't allow your old illusions to cloud your judgment, your old illusions of abandonment, your old illusions of, wow, and underneath that, what do we have? The devil. Your attachment to rejection, to abandonment, create illusion, and help you resist that change, right? 
We don't need you resisting that transformation. The universe is trying to push you away from that. Wow. Big, big shifts happening. So let's look at this deceptive energy that we got going on over here. The Seven of Swords. Because this is what you're trying to move away from. This is what Spirit wants you to be leaving up. Oh, Queen of Pentacles wanted to be peeking out. I saw you. Get back over here. I seen you. This is what Spirit wants you to be leaving behind. Let's see what's deceptive about this. Talking about the Seven of Swords. Let's get another shuffle. Look, that was a bad one. Clearly. There we go. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Taurus? Why is the Seven of Swords here for Taurus? The Devil. Yep, there it is again. The Ten of Wands and the Five of Cups again. And Justice. Yep. And then Oppression with the Sun as the overall energy. So on the Seven of Swords, what's, what's deceptive? The attachment to the burden to the rejection energy. And when you release that rejection energy, that's what's bringing in that justice. That's what's bringing in that new beginning. And what was clarifying justice? The star and the three of wands, that alignment, your hope and wish fulfillment, those new opportunities. But what do you need to release? The toxicity, the fears, the attachments, the beliefs that you need to control the situation to be safe. You don't need to control it. You can release the control. You can release the control. You're safe to release control. You are safe. You're being very protected. Let's look at the Eight of Wands. Six of Wands, Leo energy. Yeah, you were chasing, what you were chasing, you were still hoping for victory. You're still hoping for recognition. You're still hoping for success. But it, it wasn't stable because there was still this attachment to, but I need to control it, right? It was still leaving you in a nine of pentacles in reverse energy, that insecurity, right? And there's that queen of pentacles again, yeah. Because as much as you were trying to build and create something stable, you were doing it because the Nine of Pentacles goes to a Queen of Pentacles, which goes to an Empress energy. That's how you evolved to an Empress. And you're a Nine of Pentacles in reverse going to a Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yes, you're working on yourself, but you're staying in your shadow. You're staying in the low vibrational energy. So you're doing work on yourself, which is great. You're evolving, but you're not integrating all of your shadow because there's parts of you and you're masculine that have that need to control so they feel safe, so they feel secure, when that's not a necessity, right? That's what needs to change with death here. That's what needs to shift. You don't need to always build and have control of situations in order to feel safe because the feminine energy is now struggling to feel stable, to feel secure, and is left feeling emotionally drained, not feeling emotionally supported and fulfilled. <clears throat> And the ending overall energy is the Wheel of Fortune, change, followed by the masculine energy, the King of Cups, right? Needing that emotional fulfillment, needing that faith in oneself, that love in oneself, that support for oneself. Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter, Sag energy, and the King of Cups, Scorpio energy. It's not just like masculine versus feminine. It's just overall needing to allow yourself not to have that deeply rooted necessity for control, right? You need to allow yourself to trust the universe more and trust yourself more and trust that not everybody's going to betray you. Not everybody's going to hurt you. Not everybody is going to do what your past did because not everybody is your past and you are no longer that person you were clearly because you're evolving, meaning that you're no longer going to attract that same energy. Okay. But Taurus, this is what I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you want a personal reading or a Reiki session, go ahead, book it down below. If you want a free 15 minute reading, go ahead and sign up as a tier two or three patron between now and January 15th. Other than that, give this video a thumbs up. 
helps the channel grow, and I'd love to see you guys next time. Later. Bye-bye.